Stepney, the Bluebell engine, works closely with his friend Rusty. Grandpa Pig is looking after One day, the fat George controller today. came to see him. Rusty tells me you're in need of change, so I want you to help Toby and Mavis in the quarry. Oh, thank you, sir, said Stepney. Shall I be away long? Just today, replied the fat controller. But please be careful, it's easy to get lost up there, so be back before dark. We will, said the driver. I used to play on one myself when I was a little piggy. Stepney soon arrived at the quarry. We're glad you're here to help us, said Toby. Where's my trucks? asked Stepney eagerly. Only some of them. There's masses more in the sidings, replied Mavis. The more the merrier, whistled Stepney. Stepney was really enjoying himself. The dustier he became, the harder he worked. Mavis and Toby were impressed. The quarry foreman spoke to his driver. We have a night special to take to the building site of the new branch line. Do you want to pull the train? Oh dear. Yes, it's please, not said the driver. Being small, but he should have asked the fat controller first. <laughs> because Richard is little. Night came. I don't Be think careful, Stepney, advised Toby. I, I will, and thank you for a lovely cake. day. I do hope I can come back again. The, children the line understand. can be spooky, don't said you? Mavis. <laughs> thank you for the warning. And with that, Stepney Whee! puffed away <laughs> into the night. George is little, and he has to wait his Stepney arrived on time and made the delivery of rock and stones for the workmen. Then he set off for home. That's when the trouble began. The fog came down. Mavis was right. Suddenly everything does look spooky. Don't worry, Peppa. They won't There's a signal box. And the signal light is green. Someone must have been expecting us. But they hadn't. Here is Pedro Pony on the swing. No. Pedro, can I have a go now? The I points had been set swing. in the wrong direction, but Stepney but didn't realise this. Home, here we Grandpa come, he thought. Can you push me a little bit, please? Then they approached an unknown area. Now, Pedro. But I have to go home. The driver made a decision. Oh, I see. It's best that if we rest here until the fog clears. Let me push you then. What are those strange sounds, wondered Stepney. <laughs> then the fog slowly waiting. lifted. Oh no, wailed Stepney. We're in the scrapyards. His driver and fireman went for help. Stepney was all alone, but not for long. Two diesels approached. Ah, then you can get back on the roundabout. Got you this time, Stepney. Why is that? You will make very fine scrap indeed. Because it's my birthday soon. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> and me. Uh, all right. <laughs> is everybody ready? The yeah. diesels took him to the large there smelter's no shed. Boys on the roundabout. Um. <laughs> now is everybody ready? Bye bye, Stepney. The children are said making the up their own rules. I need to get them because I like carrots. <laughs> now, Stepney are looked up. Above him was go. a huge no, grabber. This engine's not I for scrapping, this. shouted Stepney. <laughs> the grabber wasn't Here listening. Mummy Pig. But just as it was about to grab hold of him, it stopped. There is only one rule, Grandpa Pig, and that is... There stood the fat controller. It's a good thing I've chosen to visit this yard tonight. Shaving you from scrap is getting to be a habit, Stephanie. Please stop it. Yes, sir, but I have learned something. What? That. Even the There's no place like home. And that's exactly where you're going now. Bluebells forever, sighed Stepney. 